For today's episode of Everyday I AI, let's go back to basics, right? Let's imagine that you're somebody who has never used these tools before. How would you even start, right? Now, I want you to start thinking conversationally. If you were to approach a person and you were going to ask them where to start, what kinds of questions you can ask, that sort of thing, that's the way I want you to think about your first prompt, right? So you might say something like this to a person, and I want you to put the same kind of thing in the tool. You would say, Hi, I'm new to AI tools. I'm a project manager at UC San Diego. Uh, what are some ways that I can use this tool, right? Or other AI tools to use my work? Uh, here's some of the things that I do. I interview clients. I create timelines and budgets for projects. Uh, I manage communications via email. I capture meeting notes. Can you even give me some examples of some questions that I can ask? So again, very conversationally, imagine you're going up to somebody who is an expert in this field or who maybe knows a little bit of where to start. You're just asking for tips, right? You're just giving them a little bit of context about uh, where you work, what are the, some of the kinds of things that you do, so that it can give you a little bit of a better response. Uh, all right, so let's see. Uh, the response, first, it gives me a nice welcome, and then it gives me some examples. So document summarization, content editing, timeline budget creation, and then here are some examples, questions that you can ask to get started. Uh, can you summarize our key points from our last meeting with this client? Uh, can you generate an email template requesting project updates from team members? Can you create an outline or a project timeline with milestones and deadlines? So these are interesting, right? I might take some of these and um, try them out in the different tools, or I can follow up with this one and say, where can I learn more or see examples? So these are great. I might try them out, but is there a place where I can learn more? So let's see, it says you can learn more. Um, for instance, you may check out example video series. Everyday IAI, when it showcases three minute videos demonstrating, hey, it's actually talking about us. You know why it's talking about this series is because this content is updated on Blink, which is part of Triton GPT's information. So uh, you can see here that it pretty quickly refreshes the information and it makes it uh, available for people. Uh, and it's also important to remember that these callouts here in Triton GPT take you to the specific resource. So if you were wondering where it's pulling some of these uh, bits from, it's uh, you can see here that it's calling out, let's say this one is AI guidelines for communicators and a little bit more information on that. Be sure to follow these resources or to check them out because they can sometimes be really helpful in helping you find more information on what you're looking for. I hope this has been helpful. And again, I want you to remember to try to be conversational with these tools. Try to ask the questions in the way that you would ask a person. Uh, you want to give it a little bit of context. You want to give it a little bit of information and background so that it can give you a more refined response.